Welcome back all my spring sprout enthusiasts. Today is a gorgeously warm day and uh, we are almost past our danger of last frost. We've had a couple recently that have left some of our beds that are closer to the northern wall still partially frozen. But we're gonna go ahead and plant this sunny bed. We've just got a mix of uh, quick growing greens operating on the rhyme that we learned in the last video, beans, roots, greens, fruits. This area was all roots last season, so we're gonna plant it with some greens, also some beans, and then we're eventually gonna put fruits here. If you guys are just joining us, my name is Nina. You haven't missed much yet, but uh, after talking to a couple friends of mine, I've come to the conclusion that spring is the season for feeling like you're behind in absolutely everything that you're doing. <laughs> but the goal is bigger, healthier gardens, and one thing we're gonna concentrate on this year is crop rotation. Now, I have to actually re-sign my lease in a couple of days. It's officially been one year since we moved in here, and that's kind of exciting because for the first time, after building these beds, I get to actually delve into what the soil needs, consider what was planted there last year, and what I need to plant there now to make sure that everything's copacetic. But we're gonna get these uh, cool weather lovers going. First though, we've gotta sweat it out in the greenhouse for a minute. It is beyond bright and beyond hot in here, and I honestly can't even see, so hopefully you guys can see me. Um, but just want to take a look at how everything is doing. Our California Wonder Red Bell, those were the first thing to come up. They're still going strong. Matter of fact, this guy kind of give you an idea just how big they are. The Sweet Chocolate Bell Pepper, those are still healthy, still doing good, just not growing quite as fast. Um, our Sean Gray Everglade Tomato, those are hanging in, doing pretty good. He was right, when they pop, they pop. Terry or Ann, um, if you guys could let me know. I'm not sure if this is something naturally occurring, like with the original leaf. I saw that little dark spot and it kind of got me concerned, so let me know if these guys look okay to you. I've never grown loofah before. Um, thank you again guys for sending me those seeds, but ah, let me know. These are just a huge assortment of gourds and melons. Um, there's pumpkins in here. This is the bushel gourd. They grow three to five feet across. Still trying to figure out where I'm going to put that one, but I absolutely had to try a few of them. Let's see, that's another one. These are some tomatoes that I had in my own cold storage. The seeds were like six years old, and I just thought, what the heck, we'll try them. And they did all pop up. I had a 100% germination rate, but they're, they're taking a little bit to really establish. Got a gourd dipper, and that's going to be a vine, so I'm going to have to build a trellis for that guy. And uh, over here, we've just got pumpkins. This is all pumpkins, and they're all starting to tangle up. I'm going to leave those alone. And here we have beets. Now, we planted half of these. We put those in a bed a week ago. They're doing great. We're going to plant the rest of these today. Oh, it actually feels really good in the shade. <laughs> Alright, so along with crop rotation, we're also talking about companion planting. And normally it would be against the grain to actually plant multiple rows of root plants together because you don't want them to encroach on each other's space. However, there is a difference between planting things together and planting them in neatly spaced rows. Don't be afraid to actually put your root crops next to each other, just make sure that you give them space in between. Last year in the big bed behind me, we had potatoes in one half and carrots in the other, and they did great. Matter of fact, I have one carrot that I missed. It wintered all the way over and it's super healthy, and I think we're gonna pull it up today. Little silicone bottoms, pop them right out. Right. it's time for our mystery carrot, the loneliest little carrot in the world. This carrot came to my attention about a month ago and I've been dying to see what's down there. So the tops are nice and healthy and it's been growing for probably about seven months, um, give or take. So I'm gonna dig down nice and gentle and see what we have. Ooh, I see some orange. It's like an archaeological dig. I really don't want to damage it.
Oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh my god. Now I know that you can winter carrots over and uh, I did not do that intentionally. However, I, if you are a follower of my videos, then you would have seen I had a little hoop house on the other end of this bed to try to winter potatoes over and that really did not go well. Um, <laughs> so I guess if you guys want to winter carrots over, go ahead, they're really hardy. This one got snowed on, it had no cover whatsoever. Um, but don't expect much. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. Moving on. Okay, let's plant some greens. Now according to our little rhyme, beans, roots, greens, fruits, there were roots here. The last thing I grew in here were my potatoes. Um, so greens is the next thing in line. Now these are gonna grow really, really quickly and they're gonna die off quickly as summer comes on, but that's okay because I'm gonna replace this entire area with fruits next on the list. Fruits, just to recap, is any plant that has its uh, edible part above the soil. Whereas a root is the edible part below the soil, a green is the part that, you know, you just eat the leaf and then beans are pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda go all the way around each bed and follow the rhyme over here. Last season I had fruits here, tomatoes, so the next obvious move is beans and roots. I've got my roots planted because they're a little bit of a cooler crop and uh, the beans will come in shortly. Over here we had a whole bunch of beans, nothing but beans last season and uh, I've gone ahead and planted some potatoes there already. I do have more potatoes to add, but they should love that nitrogen. So beans, roots. Next season will be greens. The strawberry pool is new. And over here I had my squash patch. Unfortunately, I battled with the squash vine borer so much that uh, I cannot put my squash there again. So I have to find another spot for my squash. And then of course over here I had my corn. I can't move my corn because that's the only spot that gets enough light in the garden. Um, I do have a north facing garden but it'll be all right, I'll till really well, and we'll plant a whole bunch of beans around the base of the corn. All right, I've got spinach, Swiss chard with the uh, rainbow stems, some romaine, my favorite, and then I've got some arugula. So I'm gonna start with my romaine because that is gonna require the most room. We'll probably then go Swiss chard, then spinach, then arugula, and the whole thing will just have kind of like a downward. <laughs> the tallest will be here and it'll be shorter, shorter, shorter. So I'll just give everything plenty of room. So this is going to mark my second row of romaine. That should be plenty of space for two heads of romaine to grow on each side. Just kind of sprinkle the seeds in, pick out the healthiest later.
that's it for today guys join us in the next video when we plant our corn we've got more potatoes to stick in the ground and i guarantee you within a couple days from now i'm gonna have potato sprouts over here because they go so fast i was really disappointed i didn't have any today to show you guys but everything else is doing great so keep your chin up you're not as far behind as you think you are just put some seeds in the dirt We want to say a huge thank you to our supporters on Patreon. Without all of our patrons, honestly, I could not do everything that I do. You guys help us keep the boat running, you help us keep the garden planted, so I hope that you guys enjoy the content that we've been putting out. Um, if you guys haven't joined us on Patreon yet, we just recently did a Q&A in the hot tub. That was kind of fun. Join me on Patreon, hit me with your questions, and we will make it a date.